Do you find it hard to skip work when you're sick? Well, if you do, you're not alone. A city MD survey found that out of the 61% of people who leave the house when they're sick with flu-like symptoms, nearly 40% of those people said they went to work. Dr. Jen Cottle is a family physician at Rowan Medicine. She joins us now from Philadelphia. Dr. Jen, welcome back to the show. Thank you. So when will you know if you're too sick to go to work? Well, so I always say, if you think you might be too sick to go to work, then you just might be. Now, I know that's not very specific, but I think it's really important that people listen to their instincts and kind of listen to kind of what their gut tells them. But there are a couple of hard and fast rules that people should abide by. First thing is, if you have a fever, you definitely should not go to work. In fact, you shouldn't go to work until after 24 hours that that fever has been gone and you haven't needed to take medications for it. Um, so I would say, you know, this is really a time when I ask bosses and employers to really think out for the betterment of the entire company and organization. And that is for when people are sick, they need to stay home. And, and I want every individual to feel that way, too. I mean, I write sick notes without a problem when, when somebody is really sick because I want them home getting better, but also not infecting other people. Really good point there. And also speaking of working from home, if you're contagious, is it good for you to be working at all? Um, well, you can, you can work if you feel up to it. I mean, it's all about how you feel, but I think maybe one of the bigger points is, you know, how to kind of reduce the effects of being contagious, right? What are things that we should be doing to minimize this contagion? Washing our hands is so important, whether you're at home or whether you're at work. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer if you need to. Um, other things that you can do is uh, make sure that you're not touching your face and that places where we get germs and stuff like that. And disinfecting surfaces, whether it's your desktop or your home uh, kitchen counter, things like that. Those are going to be some really important ways to help prevent the spread of germs. Dr. Jen Cottle, thank you so much for joining us on Cheddar News. Thank you.